Welcome to this Itasca featured video. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to generate a system of 30 interacting balls in a box. Two different cases are going to be demonstrated for the system, case A and case B. The difference between these cases is whether energy dissipation is included or not. In case A, the system is cycled without dissipation, whereas in case B, dissipation is included. This tutorial will also guide you through the main steps required to build a simple PFC model. They can be summarized as Defining the extent of the domain Defining the contact model assignment table with selected contact model and contact model properties Generating the initial state And performing alterations to the contact model assignment table and contact model properties before solving the system for this tutorial, we will open a PFC example already available in the tutorial folder. So when the startup window pops up, choose No Project. To open the tutorial, go to Help in the menu bar and select Examples. A new Examples window opens. Select PFC, Tutorials, and Balls in a Box. Select the project file and open it. To adjust the layout, go to Layout and choose Wide. In the data file, we are going to go through the different lines and run them throughout this tutorial. To zoom in and out, hold the control key and scroll, or hold the control key and press the plus or minus key. We want to start with setting the general model controls, so mark the first three lines. The first line clears the model, which is useful if you will run the file multiple times. The second line sets the calculation mode to be large strain. The last line is not required, but sets a job title for this project. Right-click and choose Run Selection or use the shortcut, Control shift e Next, we need to define the domain extent, which is necessary before any model components can be created. The domain extent is set to be a cube with side lengths of 20 units. By only specifying the location of the edges in the X direction, the Y and Z directions will use the same extent edges. It's also important to note that FLAC 3D and PFC differ in this aspect. In FLAC 3D, the zones and structural elements are not aware of the model domain, whereas in PFC, the balls are aware of the domain boundary conditions and must be inside the domain. Choosing what contact model to be installed when a new contact is created is a fundamental question. In this tutorial we will use the linear contact model. Specify all the default slots of the contact model assignment table to a linear contact model. With the keyword property, we can also specify the contact model properties. In this case, we specify the normal stiffness. Next, we will generate 30 balls in a box constituted by wall facets. The first line generates the box. By only specifying the location of the edges in the X direction, the Y and Z directions will use the same extent edges. In the plot pane, named system, you can now see the box. In the legend, under wall, you can see that 12 facets have been generated. By adding the command model random with a fixed seed number, before we generate the balls, the same model will be created anytime the file is executed. The balls are going to be generated until we reach the specified number of balls, shown after the keyword, number. In our case, it is set to 30 balls. The specified radius range is set between 1 and 1.4 units, where the radii are randomly chosen. By adding the keyword box, the balls will fall within this box, which match the extent of the generated box. In the plot pane, you can now see the balls in the box. In the legend, under ball velocity magnitude you can see that 30 balls have been generated. Continue with setting the attributes of the balls. In this case, assign their density. Note that the attributes are the characteristics of the balls, for example positions, size, and density, whereas properties are their surface properties.
Activate the gravity. By using this command, the gravity will be assumed to act in the minus z direction. At this stage, we are done with the initial state and will save it before we start to solve the system for case A. You can now see the saved state, named initial state, in the project pane. This initial state is going to be restored later on for case B. Start to solve the model to a time limit specified by the keyword time. In our case, is the system cycled with a time limit of 10, and the resulting state will be saved when the limit is met. In the plot pane, you can see the state of the system with the balls colored by velocity magnitude. A new save file, named case A, no damping, has been created in the project pane. As there was no dissipation included in the model, the total energy initially present in the form of potential energy is conserved and distributed into potential, kinetic, and elastic strain energy. Let's continue with case B. This case includes dissipation, so we will have to restore and then adjust the initial saved state. We will do this by modifying the contact model assignment table. Start with restoring the initial state model, which is shown in the plot. For the contact model assignment table, the default slots are still specified to linear contact model. However, we will change the contact model properties to activate friction and viscous damping in the normal direction. The contact model properties, normal stiffness, shear stiffness, friction coefficient, and normal critical damping ratio are specified after the keyword property. To apply the modified contact model assignment table to the existing contacts, the following command is used. Be aware that by using this command, all information stored in the previous contact model is lost. Case B includes energy dissipation at the contacts via frictional slip and viscous damping. Start to solve the system to the target time limit of 10. When the limit is met, the resulting state will be saved and a third save file is created, named case B, damping. This is the solved system with activated dissipation. You can see that the balls have settled on the floor of the box. Thank you for watching this PFC tutorial. For more information about PFC outside of this tutorial, please see the links in the description box.